Hi, this is Neil Barnhill with Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. We're out here today with Andrew. He's been playing for a little, almost a year now. And uh, mm -hmm. one of the problems he has with the swing, he's done a great job and he's getting a lot better shooting in the 40s now. Uh, and But really the biggest problem he has, one of the things he's had a hard time getting rid of is the move where he comes over the top at the transition of his downswing. So, Andrew, show them what the over the top is without hitting, and we got a drill here we've been working on that seems to really be working, and we'll take a few minutes here and watch how this transpires. Go ahead, Andrew. So when I go over the top, I usually go like this instead of, so when I hit the ball, it, I usually try and overcompensate so it goes right or goes left and then slices way right. Which way are you, when you're coming over the top, what's starting your, what specifically muscle groups are starting your down? My shoulders. Your yeah. shoulders, okay. And what are you working on now to start? I'm trying to get like my lower body moving forward so I can hit it like inside out. So I can go like this and it'll allow for the swing to be like this and then when I release, it'll do that and make the sort of draw that goes Okay, right yeah. so let's talk about the drill we got going on here. What is this uh, device we got? So like this, when you hit the ball, you have to go inside because if you go outside, you're going to end up hitting this thing and it's going to fly off. So also if you hit this, it means that you're like, going down on it too soon. So if you hit it, you have to go Okay. Go ahead and grab. All right. Yeah, now, hey, when you start doing the hitting, don't talk. <laughs> Hit. Okay. Straighten the thing back up. It's part of it. it. Takes full concentration. Yes. Straighten the device up. There you go. Get it there. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. We're watching. Get set up. Head up a little bit. Chin up. Good. Okay, that's very good. Do it again. So you can see he's doing really slow, but the repetition is what we're trying to get a, the right movement pattern and the path coming down. Just chin up, toes out, strong legs. Excellent. Okay, let's try one without that, just to the side of that. Let's see a normal swing. Let's see how, see if it looks any different. Okay, cause so you can see that in the camera, how that was definitely a little bit more over the top yeah. at transition. Over the top there. Okay. Chin up. A little bit better there. Okay, get back into the device. Chin up, strong legs. Okay, so he's getting instant feedback of doing a drill like this and whether he's doing it right or not. Good. So when I'm teaching, I mean, we definitely all need um, drills to help us. And when we're on our own, practicing individually without your coach, you need some drill that's going to give you instant feedback because you can fake yourself out and think you're doing correct, right? Yeah. Okay. But uh, it'd be nice to have something like this or some other drill that'll, that instantly tells you you're doing it correct or not. 
So good job today, and uh, you're doing wonderful. I'm proud of you. We've got a great drill here, so continue the hard work.